going on y'all it's east side jody and i'm basically here to get my perspective and my take on what we could do for the mall you feel me i see us going up the auction that shit sad as hell gang i ain't gonna lie to you it's sad as hell um especially if you came up 2000 in danville you know that shit was it was nice man you know and i feel like it still can be it's up to us i feel like as a community i feel like it's too many young entrepreneurs too many young bosses you know what i'm saying like for us not to be able to generate money through that motherfucker. You feel me? Like, I feel like if we start putting our brains together and putting our brands together, I feel like we can invest and make them all flourish a little more, you know? Um, like me personally, I know back in December before I even knew it, an auction and all that shit that was going on, I want to open this little business out here. And I was thinking like, what would be a good place to put it? And the mall came to mind, you feel me? So I went to talk to my boy Lafayette. I'm like, bro, I feel like we should try to do something with the mall. You feel me? And I'm like, I want to open my little prop house up in there. I feel like you should open a barber shop in that motherfucker. I feel like we should hit Kiosha up, have a open like a little cake shop in that motherfucker. I'm like, man, Coriante, you should open the born billionaire boy billionaire store in that motherfucker. Shit, him and if him and little Sack Chaser they put they shit um together. You feel me? That's two different brands in the store, but it ain't only it ain't only up to that. Like we just the entrepreneurs, bro. We do we 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 got the ideas. We got the we can we can fund our ministers and shit. But we gonna need the support. We need the help. We need y'all to help us grow, so we can continue bringing more businesses out here. We gotta make it seem like it's fun to spend y'all money in the town, and that's why a lot of shit closed, and that's why we don't have shit. You feel me? That's why. We can cry. We can sit around and complain about what's going on with the water park. You feel me? But it ain't going to grow unless we start putting our money into it. We got to go start spending that little fee they want us to spend, bro. We got to go flood that bitch out and overwhelm them with, 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 with money so they can continue building and bringing more shit to the town, bro. That's the only way we're going to succeed. We can't expect shit to change if we ain't going to change within the community, bro. Like, we need, I feel like we should start a black renaissance in the mall, bro. I feel like it's too many lash techs, too many hairstylists, too many barbers, too many people with their own clothing lines, too many people who sell shoes, it's too many people who cook. It's too much shit going on out here for us not to take them all over, bro, and generate business through that motherfucker. We know people who do piercings. We know people who, we got dentists and people out here that can open stores in that bitch, bro. Y'all gotta wanna do it. We gotta wanna see the town win, bro. But one thing about Danville, we never been big on support. You feel me? Like, ain't no way it ain't a thousand Trent Shurfield jerseys walking around this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got to be big on support. We got to help these businesses grow. We got to help each other grow.